Hey everyone, it's Laurel here, and today's video is all about birthday cards for the men in your life. So masculine themed, we're gonna do several techniques that work for all masculine cards, and I'm gonna show you easy to make birthday cards for all the dudes in your life. So let's get to it. Okay, the first technique is ombre stamping, and I'm just gonna use one ink pad. No need to use three different colors. Since I'm using a rubber stamp, I can't use my waffle flower grip mat in my Misty because I can't have any extra thickness. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of tape to the back of my cardstock, and that will keep it in place. And then I'll pick up that uh, rubber stamp there with my Misty, and we're good to go. All right, so again, I'm using just one ink pad here. So I'm gonna do it two different ways. This is the first. I'll ink up the whole entire background, and give it one press, one stamp, that's it. I'm not even, it's not even gonna be a perfect stamp, it doesn't matter. Then I'll ink up the second, may, maybe three quarters of the stamp. So basically the three quarters of the cardstock is getting inked up twice. And then I will ink up just the bottom part of the stamp and press down. So the basically the bottom part of the, of the card is getting inked three times, the middle two times, the top one time and you can do that as many times as you want. Now, since these are all cards that I'm making for men or masculine cards, I'm gonna keep the color family somewhat masculine here. All right, another way to do it is basically the same way, except this time I'm gonna stamp off on a piece of trash. Like literally I pull that out of the trash can, I press that paper on the card and then it just, or the stamp and it just removes some of the ink. So I get a lot more of a lighter first impression. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll ink up the three quarters of the cards with the same ink color. And then I'll ink up the bottom of the card with the same ink color. And then it's a more of an obvious gradient look, if you will. So you can do it one of two ways. Either way works. And you can re-ink and, and darken it as much as you want to. So this is a great hack on not having to have a lot of ink pads. You can get three different colors with one ink pad just by how you stamp. And then for this card, I just kept it super simple. I found this image in my magic mug and slapped on a sentiment and called it a day. If you don't know what my magic mug is, you can search my channel for magic mug, or I'll include a link in the description below and you can check it out. All right, next up is a somewhat of a faux watercolor look here using some masculine ink colors. All the inks I'm using are Catherine Puller inks, and I will list the exact colors I'm using in the description below, but I'm gonna be working with that big hello die. So I'm gonna take two colors of blue and one color of green, and I am going to ink up the word there. Now I'm not, I'm being careful not to contaminate my ink pads. I don't want to go over my green into my blue and so forth. So there is a little bit of a gap there, but don't worry when you spritz your stamp with water, it's going to even everything out. So I'll give it a couple of spritzes here and then I'll press down. Now this is watercolored cardstock. Any, anytime I use water, I'm using watercolored cardstock. The rest of the cards is just regular cardstock. And now you have this hello look. It's very subtle but it's, it gives you that nice wash, almost as if you painted on that hello. Now, these are two stamp sets from Riley and Company. I'm gonna use them in the rest of the cards today. So basically, I went ahead and inked them all up, colored them all, and die cut them all off camera. I spent the morning doing that. <laughs> And I was probably watching Dateline or something off to the side while I was doing all my coloring. But all my images are cut and colored and die cut in that little bin there. So I'll just start pulling from that. So that's my temporary magic mug. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a Hulk. These are adorable. I'm a huge superhero Marvel dork. All right, so when I saw these over at Riley Company and they're clear stamps, I had to pick them up and I'm begging her. I sent her a whole list of superheroes that I want to see on her line. <laughs> so I forgot to color the moose's antlers here, so I'm just going to go in and do that. Now, I'm no expert on coloring whatsoever, so my coloring is very simple and yours can be too. You do not have to be a expert Copic marker colorer to color FYI. So I'm going to pop this Hulk up on an action wobble. This is a mini action wobble I got off of Amazon. So that way it kind of flicks around and moves it around. I forgot to put the rest of the sentiment. So in theory, you want to go ahead and get your full sentiment on there first. I didn't. I forgot. So I went ahead and stamped birthday guy kind of above my little Hulk moose. Uh, but it's going to turn out. Now, this is a little plain. You can leave it as is, but I thought it looked a little plain. So this stencil was sitting on my desk, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of something, something, just to jazz it up a little bit. So I'm using that same Juniper Mist color and an ink blending tool that I obviously did not clean. It had a little bit of brown on it. 
but this is a masculine card, so why not? And I'm just doing a little partial stenciling there just to add a little something, and then I'll go around the edges a bit. Uh, just, just, I don't know. It just looks a little too plain to me. You can totally leave that off if you want, but just that little step added something to the card. And here's a finished look at this little guy. This would be cute for a kid even. I just I love my little wobbly folk. All right, then we have the kissing technique. Kiss, kiss, kiss. What boy doesn't like to be kissed? What man doesn't like to be kissed? So let's do it. go ahead and kiss this way. I'm going to use this ink splot stamp set and I'm just going to ink it up with twilight ink and I'm going to press that cardstock down. I'm just going to do it a different way to show you you don't have to have a misty stamping tool if you don't have one, but by God, it's easier. Anyway, so that's a little twilight ink just to show you what this stamp looks like. It's cool. I love it. They made that, they designed this stamp uh, when I kind of gave them some inspiration and said, we really need this in the market and they made it happen. So I'm digging it. And then I found my Hero Arts background set. It's just got a little t a text on it. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to kiss these two together. So I'm going to take the ink splot background. And I'm going to ink it up with a lighter color ink. This is Twilight. And then I'm going to take the text background and ink it up with a darker color ink, which is going to be stone blue. You, the, the, the stamp that you want to kiss to needs to be darker. So I'm going to take the darker stamped image and kiss it with a lighter stamped image, if that makes sense. And then it's going to transfer all that text over. And then take a piece of cardstock and go ahead and get your print there. So again, I'm just going to press my cardstock directly onto the stamps there. And this time I'm going to grab some garbage out of my... <laughs> out of my trash can just to try to keep my hands clean but just wanted to show you you can do these, some of these techniques without a misty stamping tool if you don't have one and here's a look at that so we got all that text transferred onto the back and then you've got a little background here so you've got three cards actually three card backgrounds see when you kiss the one to the second you get the third and you got a three fur, a three fur. All right, full disclosure, this is gonna be a huge accident, but I'm leaving it in the video. First of all, I'm not even using my kissed panel. So that's accident number one. And I don't even realize it yet. So this card was inspired by Captain America Civil War, which is when Iron Man and Captain America fight over the Sokovia Accords. I told you I'm a big nerd, but this time they're fighting over a cup of coffee, not over whether or not to sign. Okay, the Zakovia Accords. I'm just like a dork. So I'm going to slap up a, a cup of coffee there. See it? Pop it up with some foam dimension. And I'm good to go. Still don't realize an, I made an accident, but here it comes. Remember when you didn't need coffee to function and buying jeans didn't make you cry? Good times. <laughs> Happy birthday anyway. That's what that says. And I'm thinking to myself, I should really grab my Misty. I should really grab my Misty. I really, really should grab my Misty. <sighs> I don't grab my Misty and let's see what happens here. I'm still feeling it. I'm like, all right, this is going to be good. And the stinking sentiment is upside down. You see that? So I can either cover it up with a sentiment strip or my glue. I'm like, are you kidding me? My glue has not completely dried. So I'm just going to peel up my Captain America. I'm going to peel up my Iron Man and I'm going to peel up that cup of coffee and it all is glued together. So it stayed on nice. And then I'm going to get the originally intended panel I wanted to use anyway, which is the kissed image. And then we're going to do it all over again. This time I'm going to stamp it the right way and stamp it first. And I did notice when I did the stamping upside down, it was got a little bit lost in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. So I used a pigment black ink, sprinkled, sprinkled, that's not a word, sprinkled on some clear embossing powder, and then I'll heat set it. Then I'll go ahead and add my glue, favorite glue. You guys know this if you watch me, my Barely Arts glue, same original glue bottle I've had for three or four years, never clogged once. So I'll go ahead and glue that straight down. And now I have saved my card panel. I needed to add the moose eyes back that kind of got lost because I used a really dark brown color when I was coloring the moose. And that's this guy. Hi, isn't that cute? I would fight anybody over a cup of coffee any day. Absolutely. And P.S. I would win. All right. Dimensional textures. That's the next technique we're going to do. I'm going to use that same stencil. I already have it out. This is some very old embossing paste. I'm getting down to the bottom. Uh, you can get embossing paste from any place. Amazon. This one's from Alta News, scrapbook.com. They all have it. This is just white embossing paste. They also make crackle embossing paste, translucent embossing paste, all kinds of stuff. And I just tinted it with some ink. You saw me mix the ink and with the white embossing paste until I got the color I wanted. And then I'll just go ahead and shellac all this through the stencil. Now, clean your stencil, clean your palette off, 
palette knife off or whatever you're using to smack shellac your your uh, embossing paste through it clean it off right away do not let it dry on your stencil do not let it dry on your work surface do not let it dry on your palette knife either pause what you're doing and go find a sink or keep a little bin of water put your stuff in the water until you can get around rinsing it off don't let it dry all i did was rinse that off under some hot water that's it. I decided to kind of heat this embossing paste up a little bit to get it to bubble and crackle. Just to add some more texture. Why not? I'd never done this before. So I didn't know what it was going to look like, but I wanted some texture. So I got me some texture. By God, it got me some texture. Wanted a little bit more blue. So that's completely dry. So I'll just add some more of that blue color right to the center of the card there. Just, just to make it a little darker. You can add another color, whatever floats your boat. It doesn't even need to go on even because I wanted texture and I got it. And then, of course, I just reached into my little bin of superheroes and got the Thor. This is the Thor moose. <laughs> I'm sorry. Isn't this adorable? And I don't do critters, but I ain't passing up on superheroes. And then this don't hate me because I'm younger. I'm not sure where I got that. If I can find it, it'll be linked in the supply list. Next up is embossed textures. Now this is inst this is interesting. This is some watercolor cardstock. You don't need watercolor cardstock. I just don't know why I used it, but I did. And this is two different colors. We've got the cocoa and we've got the juniper mist. And I just swinked, you heard me, swink, you know the word I made up, swinking, ink swiping. And I have a whole video on swinking techniques, by the way. You can search that in my channel in the search bar, and I'll also try to remember to link it in the supply list as well. So because Catherine Pooler inks stay wet a little bit longer, I usually can heat emboss. This embossing powder I chose has chunks in it, so it's very thick. So it didn't actually take all the embossing powder, but that's okay, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna go ahead and heat the embossing powder that I can, and this is also drying my panel up, and then I'm gonna swipe on some embossing ink which is intended for embossing powder. And then I'll dump one. You'll see how it sticks to that. See, it's really big and chunky. Now take your finger and kind of move around. I didn't want those harsh lines. See that line at the top? I'm just using my finger to kind of wipe some of that away. And then we'll go ahead and heat emboss this. And look at this textured embossed background. It does not get any more cooler and masculiner, which is not a word, than that. So cool. I love it. And this just made, reminded me of space. And you know, in the Avengers, when Iron Man gets sucked up into space to save the world, of course, I had to put the little Iron Man moose onto this card panel. And this sentiment is from the 10 stamps. So all birthday themed, all cool masculine backgrounds that you can add whatever stamps that you have in your stash, all doable, all for the dudes in your life. I'm telling you, adorable. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. The supplies are linked below in the description. Remember to click the bell, subscribe, do all the whole things you that you know I want you to do. And I will see you next time for my next video.